Hi, my name is Jamie, and I'm the owner of Photoville Photography Studio in Arcadia, Oklahoma. We do a lot of product photography for car dealerships, online boutiques, um, eyewear companies, jewelry, and restaurants. I recently purchased five replica surfaces, took it to an on-location shoot, and did one in my studio. After we did those shoots, I bought five more, and now we have the whole collection. So today, we are going to be demonstrating the splash drink photography in our studio. I like the versatility of the replica surfaces, and they come in a lot of different colors and patterns, which makes it great for especially the clients that we shoot, which are more high-end, so they expect a good quality backdrop look, and we also do a lot of flash photography, and so they work really well with the high-end flash photography. So for today's session in the studio, we're going to use my Fuji X-T3 tethered with the Tether Tools um, USC cable to USC into my laptop and using Lightroom so I can show the client if they were here the images instantly or I like them personally just so I can see them better um, how they're going to turn out. I usually always shoot product photography horizontally because I mean I'm shooting in raw so I can always crop vertically if I need to. I'm going to use the Flashpoint R2 transmitter and the Flashpoint speed lights which I like the Manfrotto eight foot column stands in the studio just because you can raise and lower quickly. And when we go on location to shoot at restaurants or at our boutiques, we obviously take a traveling light stand. So it's easy to travel with. So let's get started. So for this particular assignment, it's going to be for a restaurant. They wanted a glass that shows the splash photography in this drink. It's just going to be a clear liquid like vodka with um, the strawberries and so for today's purposes we're just going to demonstrate water we use room temperature water so we don't have to worry about the glass frosting up during the shoot so i'm going to go ahead and get started and obviously i made sure that the glass is clean so we're going to use the weathered wood one and the slate for this demonstration and when you pour the water make sure you fill it pretty full so you get the big splash So a lot of times when you go out and shoot, you don't have an assistant. And in this case, I don't have an assistant tonight. So I'm gonna shoot on my self timer and I'm gonna shoot multiple frames per second to allow my ability to get the perfect shot for my client. So here we go. So I have it set on 10 seconds and when it gets down to three seconds it's going to beep so we just hope for the best and maybe we'll have to do it four or five times before we get that perfect shot so i'm going to hit the shutter to release it it's on seven seconds now so that's three two and we probably got one So we got the strawberry in flight going down. The good thing about shooting on a tripod and the ability of Photoshop and layering photos, you can really provide the client a great look with the splash, even if you don't get it in one take. Again, when you crop it for the client, obviously we would do a vertical crop and it would be like so so you wouldn't see obviously my hand and arm in the in the photograph i have the camera set on a shutter speed of 1 25th iso 400 at an f-stop of four my flashes are at the lowest power setting to allow quick recycle time to stop the action so if you had a one-to-one -one, the flashes would have to really um, recycle and have enough time to recycle, but at 1 1 28th of a second, you could see they fired every single time. So you can do this by yourself with self timers and multiple frames per second on your camera. So give it a try. You don't have to have an assistant. 